So if you're an unattractive person, say you're an unattractive woman, do you want to become more attractive? Or do you wish to say that being attractive is bad? It's shameful to be attractive. It's wrong to be attractive. It's immature to be attractive. It's bad to be attractive. It's materialistic to be attractive. It's manipulative to be attractive. Triglypuff might benefit from a little bit of fat shaming. That's all I'm saying. Well, and, and you look at guys who've been successful, who've worked hard, who've got money, who've got resources, who have a decent career, who, and what do you say? You say, those guys are totally fake. They're hollow. They're empty. They're shallow. They're just empty suits. They, they're nothing. They're bad, materialistic. And that way, you're putting out a dog whistle. I resent success. I'm going to put out this and I say that success is bad. Success is failure, right? Everything is, um, everything is inversed in the leftist world, right? right. Radical Muslims are tolerant. <laughs> Feminists are into equality. <laughs> White males hold down women while all other cultures are wonderful for women. I mean, it's, it's literally the complete inverse of reality. And you could go on and on with this kind of stuff, but I've got a whole series of videos, liberal hypocrisies. We're going to put out part three soon, but you can check those out. So when you say, I hate success, I hate the marketplace, those guys are shallow, they're empty, they're suits, they're this and that and the other, right? It's the Mr. Burns thing, right? Loser, drunken, idiot, violent, Homer Simpson, he's the hero, and you know, the wizened crypt keeper of evilness known as Mr. Burns, well, he's the guy who's got money, right? right? It's a dog whistle that goes out there. You know, like the Seth Rogen, Adam Sandler kind of movies. Weed is cool. Not working is fun. Irresponsibility is excellent. Yeah. Did you smoke a lot of weed and be really ir irresponsible to make a movie? No. Ah. It's always aimed at the whites. Anyway, that's a topic for another time. Yes. They don't say that in a lot of Jewish families about going to school, do they? No. Here, weed is cool, Seth. <laughs> anyway. Um, so uh, the left has to put out these signals, these signals, the virtue signals of inversion. It is virtuous to fail. It is virtuous to be fat. It is virtuous to be ugly. It is virtuous to be verbally abusive. And here are all of the enemies I'm going to set up for you to vent your helpless rage on. And by all the enemies, I mean white males. <laughs> right? And I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to paralyze and fail you in life. And an injection of leftist ideology is a paralytic for the future arc of a human being. You sit there and you, you get this leftist helplessness and rage and defensiveness and, and irresponsibility and, and victimhood and vast forces arrayed against you that you can't possibly surmount. This um, le leftism is a, is a virus to, to paralyze and destroy sexual market value so that other low rent, low sexual market people can feast off your destroyed gene pool. It is a way of replicating that which is guaranteed to make you fail. It is guaranteed to make you fail. Well, I shouldn't say that exactly, because while there's a whole leftist infrastructure out there, like media and uh, think tanks and academia and, and unions, I will, but in particular media, think tanks, academics, and so on, if there's, there's a leftist structure out there, you can succeed there. But it is designed to destroy your sexual market value so that other people of low sexual market value can gain access to your naughty bits. Because if you have low sexual market value and everyone else has higher sexual market value, guess what? Your genes ain't going to reproduce. And so your genes are trying to aim to, to, to create other people at your level of sexual market value. That, that's just really, really important because... If you're a guy, listen, if you're a guy and you have low sexual market value and you can't, if, if there's no other woman around with low sexual market value, you can't reproduce. So genes want to create an environment where there are other people like you. Fat people want to make fat people rather than some fat people will lose weight, but very few succeed 
in any long, 2% of people lose weight and keep it off. So fat people want to create fat people. Uh, ugly people want to create ugly people. Vicious people want to create vicious people because that's who they mate with. Like attracts like. Misery loves company. And at a biological level, this is really important. Your genes in and of themselves can't make new genes. You need someone who's going to bear your children. And so when you look at the left, you're looking at a bunch of people who are pretty shitty all around. And they are aiming to make other shitty people and to, to lower people's sexual market value so that they can reproduce. It's a way of multiplying your genes by multiplying people who you could potentially mate with. And you can see this like low rent people, if you try to sort of break out of it and you try to become better or more noble or more heroic and more productive, then they'll try and pull you back down a lot of times. And this hatred of the good for being the good, which is Ayn Rand's central thesis, I mean, this certainly is partly driven by psychology and partly driven by excuses and wanting to pull other things down rather than raise yourself up. But fundamentally, it's a biological imperative that um, if you are a fat woman, you have low sexual market value. I mean, I guess there'll be a couple of chubby chasers, but they're not going to settle down with you. You have low sexual market value. Now, you can either lose the weight, and but that's that's a whole big thing, and it very rarely works. And you come from a whole societal, familial, environmental, class-based system which has produced your fat. So what are your what are your options? Well, the more women you can make fat, the fewer competitors you have. And so you're going to start focusing on, well, you know, ideal body images are shameful and there's nothing to be ashamed about about being fat and stop shaming fat people and this, that, and the other, right? And it, it only matters who you are on the inside. Yeah, but who you are on the inside is partly displayed by how you appear on the outside. There's not like this soul inside you has nothing to do with your appearance. And so someone who becomes fat is broadcasting you know, a lot about their sense of themselves, their sense of empiricism, their ability to look down and notice things changing. So what are they going to do? Well, they're going to want to make other people fat. They're going to want to undermine beauty. They're going to be really bothered by pictures of, is your body beach ready? So they're going to want to pull that down. They're going to want to try and destroy that. They're going to say, beauty is bad. Because in the hopes of doing that, in the, by doing that, they hope that other women will turn away from grooming and self-presentation and dieting and exercise and whatever it is that they're going to do to keep themselves attractive. They're hoping they can turn women away from looking good so that they don't look so bad. Take out the competition. It's a fairly brilliant strategy. And uh, it's not very effective in a free market, but it's effective when you can control narratives in, in media, movies. TV, academia, and so on. This is, I think, really uh, important to understand that uh, they have their plan. It's just that they are selected. They're rabbits, not wolves, so they don't care about the long-term effects. They only care about short-term sexual market value and short-term resources. They become experts at manipulation, but manipulation is a weak position. That creates a lot of hatred. That creates a lot of rage. That creates a lot of projection. That creates a lot of murderous thoughts creates a lot of murderous thoughts and that's why the left always accuses the right of creating a toxic atmosphere that promotes violence it's like oh come on this is that's the left in a nutshell in my opinion